Greetings, Knights of the Vale. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to the lands of Westeros here in the Realm of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now, before we continue our journey, I would just like to say that while I was editing episode 1, I was incredibly dissatisfied with the disgusting lack of background lore for our build. Last episode, we basically went around aimlessly and fought bandits just for fun, and I believe that the reason is because we don't know enough about our main character's background. His upbringing and the environment that influenced his growth and development as a child will also directly influence his personal sense of identity and his goals as a man grown. So, we will be kicking off this video with the new background lore for our character Uther Stone. Now, while he has the bastard surname Stone, he himself is not a bastard, but rather both of his parents are bastard-born. His father, Arthur Stone, was born to a minor noble's daughter after an affair with an acclaimed knight in John Aaron's court. The knight in question was sent to the wall and the nobleman's daughter was forced to forfeit her son to the state. Arthur was then brought up and raised as a young ward in John Aaron's court where he eventually made his way into squiredom and into knighthood. His mother, Ryla Stone, was whelped upon a tavern wench on the Isle of the Sisters by a Northman, likely from the house Locke. She remained in the Sisters for most of her life, also working as a tavern wench, until a handsome young knight, Sir Arthur Stone, arrived for attorney. The two were wed in the Light of the Seven shortly after and together raised their son Uther with the ideals of chivalry, integrity, and kindness. Moving back to the mainland of the Vale, the family lived most of their lives as homesteaders, raising horses and breeding horses for House Aaron and his knights. After the recent death of John Aaron, however, crime ran rampant throughout the lowlands of the Vale, and both Arthur and Ryla were killed in a bandit raid as the criminals made off with their prized Vale steeds. At the time, young Uther was away in the court of the Eyrie, petitioning Lord Royce for the opportunity to train as a squire and eventually into knighthood. And so, with the death of his parents, young Uther Stone has raised the stone-faced banner of his newly declared House Stone and delves headfirst into the realm to prove his worth as a knight of the Vale and a servant of the small folk. And there you have it, lads. That is our brand new and uh, newly updated background lore for our build here. I thought it was pretty interesting to add something to help kind of guide our future based off of our character's uh, undisclosed past so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of like background lore and everything like that now between last episode and this episode i actually went out and found both of the uh the only two of the veil uh wanderers that we can actually add into our party i went ahead and found both of them they were relatively cheap to uh to join into the cause so this is maya stone the very same maya stone that we rescued or that we you know set free basically from her father earlier um not sure where her man went lucas the uh the, the little finger or the small finger whatever his name was now for the role play purposes we are gonna say that they ran into a party of uh bandits or some shit and <laughs> like they i don't know maybe lucas died in the fight or something and now she returned to the uh the last man who who showed her any kind of kindness which is uther himself and was like i'm gonna join you and we're gonna we're gonna fight together to take out you know these bandits and whatnot and then of course we have also found edison stone now both of these were already named this uh maya stone and edison stone were already named as such so uh we we just kind of went out and found them he doesn't really have a, a a good role if i'm being honest uh his skills are pretty you know pretty limited but uh, I figured he could hang out with us anyway, so I'm not I'm not too entirely worried about it. But with the addition of our two new members, uh, for the time being, Edison is our steward with his seven stewardship skill. Uh, Maya Stone is our scout with her sixty scouting skills, and we have taken over as the uh, the surgeon with our seventeen, our level seventeen uh, medicine uh, education and everything like that. So. But without further ado, lads, the uh, background lore and everything is now complete, and we can jump back into the adventure, starting here in the city of Salt Pans. Now, there are a couple of missions that we can uh, tend to. Unfortunately, we still can't uh, take on this caravan ambush because we don't have enough men. 
Uh, we can get one other recruit, but there's nobody here. <laughs> However, Billy the Brewer is having issues with a uh, an army of poachers, so we're definitely going to deal with that. But for the time being, let us jump into the tournament of uh, salt pans. Join the tournament. Ah, a black heart. Given this turnout, yeah, three lords with renowned fighting skills. So given this turnout, the organizers are offering a black heart. That is a two-handed axe, and we are definitely going to jump into this shit, lads. Excellent. So Edison Stone, yeah, so Edison is in the fight here. So even if we fail in the tournament, he has the uh, the potential to uh, to make it all the way to the end and win the Black Heart. So hopefully this works out in our favor. We just can't take out Edison Stone first. So I'm, gonna, I'm going after these guys. No, Edison, run away. Please. Yeah, there we go. Go fight somebody else. Good, 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 good. So now we're both going to be able to move on into the next round. Come on, Edison. Show me what you got. Show me my money's been well spent. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Ooh. Nice. It's me and Edison fighting together this time. Come along, lad. Oh, oh. Oh, we're garbage with the bow and arrow, dude. This is awful. I'm just going to keep poking at them and hopefully I kill somebody. Nice. Okay, one down. Ooh, let's go, dude. Not bad. Oh, damn. Nice. Nice. Oh, I can't take a spear. Boo. That sucks. All right, come on. We're going to take the fight to the Lady Cox. No, uh, you know, no no pun intended here. Oh, yeah. Oh, got her ass. Let's go. Oh, shit. Sorry, horse. Well fought, lads. Very nice. Me and Edison Stone again. If it's going to be us in the finale, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to laugh. Oh, God. Good luck, Edison. I'm garbage. You don't have good archer support here. So, good luck. Oh, damn. Yeah, I definitely shot him in the head. All right. Come on, Riverlander. Ooh. Come on. There we go. All right. Just dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Yeah, come on. Yeet! Yeet! Oh! Almost ran right into it. Come here! You know not of who I am. I am the young Uther Stone, soon to be the best damn knight of the Vale you've ever seen. Yeah, our man looks good. It's me and Edison. Come on, lad. For the Black Hearts. Oh, come on, in a joust. It's me! This is my realm of expertise now, lad. Good luck to you. Ah, oh, he got me good. Even if I can't take him down, I'll take down his horse. Come on. Come on, Ed. Oh, come on. Come on. Hold on, hold on. Let's get some distance. Ooh, let's go. Well fought, Ed. Well fought. But there can be only one victor. Yeah, look at our banner, dude. It looks so good. I still, I still can't get over it. Very nice. Not bad, lads. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't intend on utilizing two-handed weapons here. You know, even using a two-handed sword, while cool and knightly and all, it's still just not the vibe that I want to go for. I feel like I always, always, always use uh, two-handed weapons, especially for a knight build. Um, so I'm thinking, if anything, we could give this 
to uh, Edison. Even though technically he doesn't have any two-handed weapon skills either. So maybe we'll just hold on to it for now. Perhaps if we need money, we can sell it. But for the time being, lads, let us talk to Billy the Brewer. Well, and who do we have here? Would you care to tell me your good name? My name is Uther, sir. May I ask your name? I am Billy, a merchant here in Salt Pans. Ah, I've heard of your name. I hear you recently caught some bandits. Speaking as a merchant, we appreciate any efforts to make the roads safer. Uh, of course, my lord. Speaking of making the roads safer, I heard that you may need some help with the problem. Yeah, I've got some problems. A few years ago, I needed hides for my tannery, and I, hi and I hired some hunters. I didn't ask too many questions about where they came by the skins they sold me. Well, that was a bit of a mistake. Now they've banded together as a gang and are trying to muscle me out of the leather business. How awful. I will rid you of those poachers myself, my lord. Worry not. Alright, so we head out to a uh, Widow's Ford. Perfect, yeah. Also, while we are traveling, I will just say that I have been watching uh, Lionheart's recent campaigns as well. Both the... Uh, the frost main and the gold main campaigns and uh, i did really enjoy how it, yeah there we go see the robber knights these guys have incredibly high uh hold on game crash real quick there we go see we're fine but um robber knights tend to drop uh some pretty decent like crude uh plate armor and knight armor so we're definitely gonna go hunting down some uh some robber knights in this episode so that we can potentially get ourselves and our companions some really decent knightly armor for our uh, Knights of the Veil vale campaign. Now, it seemed to me like a lot of these robber knights were uh, out here in the in the uh, the Riverlands and into the Westerlands. So we will be pushing a little more uh, west than normal uh, for this episode. But first, we shall wait here for the poachers to arrive. The time has finally come and the poachers have arrived at Widow's Ford. A boy runs out of the village and asks you to talk to the leader of the poachers. The villagers want to avoid a fight outside of their homes. Very well, I shall negotiate. Well, are you working for that merchant in town? So it's all fine when the rich folk trade in poached skins, but if we do it, armed men come to hunt us down. It need not come to that, my friend. I may be young, but I know the value of life. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Perhaps. What is there to discuss? My friend, you are not bad people. You can easily ply your trade somewhere else, somewhere safe. Aha! Yes, you might be correct. Alright, our options are quite limited. Only 60%, so it's kind of a toss-up, I think. Um... You had an agreement with Billy the Brewer. Your word is your bond, no matter which side of the law you're on. Honor and integrity is what separates us from the beasts of the wild. Aha! And it succeeds. I see. Yeah, you've made your point, young man. Of course I have. I'm just pretty good at what I do. Lovely. Not bad. And now, yeah, we're still, uh at 21 which isn't bad but we are also almost at a clan tier one which means we can become a mercenary of the veil vale. yeah nearly there lads we need six more renown which is not bad um so i will be shooting for where did it go charm uh for this one warlord how do I increase my charm? Improve relations with people. Socialize with nobles. Do barters. Got it. So I gotta, I gotta keep increasing my charm uh, as you know a, a knightly uh, aspirant would. That way we can get the warlord perk. Yeah, the warlord perk will give us plus thirty percent influence gain from battles, which will really only help us out uh, after we become a mercenary because influence is what translates into uh, gold from our mercenary contract. So if we're able to get 30% more influence from every battle, that also in, uh, increases the amount of gold we're going to get as well. And then further down the line, 
There is also the public speaker, which gives us plus 30% renown gain from battles as well. However, that requires 225 charms, so we will be working on that as the uh, the series goes along. Now let us go on the hunt for some Robba Knights, lads. I know we saw that, that minor party somewhere over here, but honestly, I we might not be able to find those same people, so let's uh, just kind of make our way further west and we'll see what happens oh damn that's a lot of robber knights hold on we're coming lads we're coming to help yeah help the caravan oh there's 29 of the bastards that's crazy what fortune what luck dude hell yeah we're definitely gonna take the fight to these bastards i don't think we even need to cross the trident if i'm being honest we can still stay on our side of the trident and just oh yeah because there's a hideout too bro fucking perfect we attack and thus, the first battle of the episode is now underway, lads. We will uh, <laughs> cut through these robber knights and bring justice to the realm. Under my orders! Yeah, we're gonna... Everyone! Actually, this is gonna be kind of tough. Oh, shit. Uh, just because there are... Yeah, there are horsemen line. here. Stand up, footmen! Infantry, attack! Yeah, we're gonna put shields up. Come on, lads. Oh, shit. Ooh. Good try, lads. Good try. Yeah, they're coming after our ass for sure. I'm going after the horsemen first. Just because they're gonna be our biggest threat. Nice. Poke. I love just poking these, lads. It's not bad. Yep, poke. Poke. Ooh, ooh, good luck. Or, uh, good, good shot. Yeah, that's what I meant. Come here, you bastard. Damn, I missed. That's awful. Oh, wait, is that my own man? That sure is. Ah, oh, was that Edison? <laughs> Damn it. That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. We're losing. Oh, no, we're losing. Oh, uh, my infantry is all but depleted. That's awful. Everyone, give them hell. There we go. Got the big guy. Oh, look. Maya Stone is still fighting with us, too. Forgot about her. Oh, hello. I didn't even see that man running at me. Ah, oh, the bastard. Yeah, die, you rat bastard. Justice for the realm. Ooh. Yeah, they're on my ass, lads. This is going to be a tough fight for sure. There's still 11 horsemen. Jesus. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, that's ours. Oh, that's my Veil Knight. Fuck yeah, dude. Forgot about that, dude. Nice. Good shit, lads. All right. Things are slightly turning in our favor here, lads. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, come here, you bastard. Yeah, you'll no longer plague these lands with your criminality. I don't know if, <laughs> if, that's, <laughs> if that's really a word, if I'm being honest. The bastard. Come here, bandit scum. You'll not hide from justice today. Oh. Yeah, let's fucking go, man. Alright, there's only four more of the bastards left. Oh, he lanced me good. I can't even lie. Poke. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Poke. Hit him, arches. There we go. Joust me. Yeah, let's go right in the face. Where's the rest of them at, lads? Oh, oh, oh. Damn. I released a little too early. Yeah. 
Ooh! Yeah, he came running up on me. Oh, damn. Oh, he got me good. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Come on. This is Bannerlord difficulty, after all. But we have, we have so few men left. How many of my boys died this day? I'm so sad. I'm sorry I've led you to your deaths. Oh, he's the last man standing. Come on. Ah, oh, the poor horse. Ooh, damn. Good shot, boys. My god. Very nice. Oh, look at him. Oh, he kneels in the ground. He's like, God, that was one hell of a fight. I know, boys. Yeah, y'all fought well. Damn, dude. We lost 14 men. Six Veil Pages, a recruit. God damn. And both of my companions were, uh, were taken down in the fight. That was nuts. That was one hell of a fight, guys. Whew. But a good one. A very good one, in my opinion. We have, we have seven. Uh, oh, seven out of 21. Yeah, we have seven men. Ah, uh, no, that's awful. Those are awful numbers. Now, ooh. Ooh, we can, uh, we can, yeah, we can replenish our troops here. And we'll take all of these prisoners as well. Thank you very much. Very nice. Let's see what kind of gear we've got going on here. There's an iron arming sword. Uh, which is basically the, the same thing we've already had. Battered Stormlands Gambeson. Nice. Yeah, we're going to give that to uh, to my boy here. Yeah, not bad. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty schnazzy there, buddy. Yeah, we can give her this. Damn, that, <laughs> that kind of sucks. We really didn't get shit out of these guys, did we? That's awful. Yeah, but we got we got some decent uh, loot, I suppose. So I'm not too entirely worried about it. I just hope this poor caravan is uh, is still alive. Ah, oh, barely alive, dude. And honestly, so are we, just barely alive. Yeah, so we're gonna head to this uh, to the trident here. There's a l plenty of robber knights out and about. Yeah, bandit base, perfect. We're going to wait around here for some time. Yeah, there's plenty of robber knights out and about. We're also going to take this quest here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take care of them. But we're going to wait here so that we can heal up and our men can heal up. Here we go. Yeah, before we move on to the base, let's take on a, another one of these bigger parties here. Come on, you bastards. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, this may have been a mistake. All right, we have 61% health. And they have a total of 9 cavalry. Oh, no. They have 19 cavalry. My god, this is going to be awful. Well, we attack anyway, lads. All righty, lads. Now, hopefully, the, uh, the coming assault will be slowed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Infantry! Kill them all! Cavalry! Give them hell! There we go. Ooh, let's go, dude. I forgot I'm still, like, way low on health. Ah, damn. Yeah, they're on me. Damn, damn. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry, lads. Ah, foolish of me. Oh, they're on me. Oh, it's literally four of them. Oh, God. Right away, bravely.
Very nice. Come on. Oh, oh. Come here. Damn it. Come here. Yeah, you're out, bastard. Woo. They're on me. They're on me, lads. Damn it. Ooh, god damn. Poked him real good, lads. Everyone attack! All men charge. Get in there, boys. Oh, that's my map. Very nice. Ooh, let's go. Come here, boys. Come here. You face just- Oh, damn. I got lanced. Come on, take him out, lads. Oh, what the? All right, lads. I accidentally closed out in the middle of the battle. I don't know what we're looking at by the time we come back in, so... Fingers crossed nothing's broken. Fingers crossed we can just jump back into the uh, the gameplay. I might just have to auto-resolve out this battle. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we just auto-resolved out the battle. It was uh, an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry that that had to happen, guys. Now, there is a better lance here. Uh, its handling is low, but its damage is, uh, is pretty high. It's actually very high compared to what we currently have. Um... Yeah, so we're, we're going to take it. And then we can give this one. Oh, it's the exact same thing. Never mind then. Very nice. And a Masterwork Iron Arming Sword. Very cool. Yeah, I think we could give this to... Yeah. To Maya Stone. Perfect. And then look at that, lads. Common Plated Boots, finally. Yeah, my, my legs or my calves seem to have disappeared, but <laughs> that's quite all right. I'll definitely take the uh, the night boots for sure. How do these gloves look? Oh, yeah, see, more of the uh, the goofiness is still out and about. We'll definitely take them. Perhaps somebody else can wear them efficiently. I mean, that looks fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll take these ones. Cool. Works for me. And then we'll take all these horses as well. Perfect. Not bad. Oh, look at that. 48 men now, lads. That's perfect. Alrighty, lads. So we did, in fact, return to the lands of the Vale. And we uh, we dropped off our prisoners, dropped off our loot, and we increased the number of troops that we have now. We went on a full uh, recruiting spree. We have a lot of uh, of new Vale recruits, Vale pages. Uh... Yeah, so it's it's certainly not bad, but we still have a pretty diverse army here uh, with the uh, the Northern Winter Warriors, some Ironborn Peasants, which is interesting, uh, but it should, you know, work out quite well in our favor, I think. So without further ado, lads, let us take out this uh, this hideout. Very nice. After waiting for a while, you find a good opportunity to close in undetected beneath the Shroud of the Knights. We attack. Yeah, I'm okay getting all these lads to join us in here. Maya Stone's gonna join us by default, which is cool. So let's do it, lads. All right, Arches. Once you get in range, fire at will. Yeah, with me, lads. Come on. They're just ahead. We root them out and we put them to the sword, lads. No longer shall they uh, torment the small folk. Yeah, these bastard knights. Oh, oh. Damn, dude. Ass. There we go. Poke at them, lads. Here they come. Yeah, poke at them, lads. Very nice. Very good, very, very good. 
Or you'll seek them out and kill them all. Through the caves, lads. Every tunnel, every nook and cranny. Root them out and kill them all. I don't know why you're cheering already, Maya. We're not done yet. Silly lass. Silly lass. Where are they? Oh, I hear fighting in the tunnels. Push on, men. Death to the false knights. We'll show them what true knighthood is. I'm a going. I'm a going. Got me good. Ooh. Yeah, got him good. Damn. Good stuff, lads. All right. It's the last of them, lads. You. You've cut quite a swath through my men there, damn you. How about we settle this? One on one. All right. Very well. Come on. Come on. Ooh, he... He hits hard, but I hit harder. Come on. He's so tiny. I just realized that. Like, Jesus, why are you so short, my guy? Come on. The dude's armor is fucking insane. There we go. Jesus. Woo. Well fought, lads. My goodness. That was difficult. Didn't lose a single man either. Very cool. Very nice. Some robber horsemen, robber knight, and robber knight boss. Very cool. Who knows? Maybe if we can uh, reform them, they'll uh, we can recruit them into our our party and whatnot. Let's see what else we got. Waxed common gloves, very cool. Yeah, not a whole lot of gear though. Like I'm, I was looking for some metal plate gear. I'm glad we found the boots and everything, but you know, who knows? Maybe we'll just have to keep it going. Very nice. Damn, we've got good amount of gold. We got 27,000 gold, lads. Not bad. All right, before we move on, let's take the fight to more of these bastards. Come on, we're right. Yeah. Oh, damn. Eldritch of the Moon Brothers. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to we're going to fight these bastards. Yeah, he came in out of nowhere. Interesting. Uh, well, send the troops. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, look at that Vale House Guard. Hell yeah, dude. We're getting up there now, boys. I like it. Yeah, very well done. We're going to return to Salt Pans. Drop off our loot. Drop off our prisoners. And uh, then we find the Lady Liza Erin and deliver our oath, our mercenary contract at the feet of the, uh, the Warden of the East herself. Alrighty, lads. We will send a raven to Liza Aaron, and uh, hopefully, we'll help. We'll uh, hear back from her. Perfect. That you know came a little faster than I intended. So <laughs> very cool. Please be brief. I am pressed for time. Of course, my lady. Uh, for starters, I heard you may need some help with a problem. Ah, perfect. Yes, there is something. I have been on campaign for much of this year, and I, ca and I have not been able to go around my estates collecting the rents that are owed to me and the taxes that are owed to the realm. I need some help collecting these revenues. Of course, lady. Perhaps I can help. What are the terms of the agreement? 
Uh, I can designate you as an official revenue farmer. Yeah, that's fine. Keep it simple. I need 1,200. All right, I shall do it. Excellent. You are acting in my name now. Try to be polite, but if you but you have every right to use force if they don't cough up what is owed. Good luck. Oh shit. Uh, I should have I should have done the mercenary contract first. Cause then if we do this uh, this task for her, let's just send another raven. <laughs> Sorry, my lady Lysa. I did not intend on uh, wasting your time like that. All right, so now we can just head in that direction, and the raven will cut. Hello, Utha. Again, I'm glad to have your assistance. Of course, my lady. Uh, I wish to enter your service. My sword is yours for the right sum. Oh, they're not at war. Never mind. Damn, that's tough, isn't it? I suppose we'll have to wait around until they are at war then. And then we can be on our way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A courier arrives bearing a message from Mace Tyrell. He is offering you a contract as a mercenary. 160 per influence point for fighting on their behalf. Do you accept? You know what? Sure. Why not? I shall do so. Damn. Alright, so I was going through the uh, the mod options here for Realm of Thrones. There is a compa uh, compatibility with My Little Warband. So, uh, perhaps not this video but next video we will certainly get some uh some custom troops put into the uh into the game here so if you have any suggestions for uh house stone specific custom troops uh feel free to put them in the in the comment section below we're gonna have a focus on uh pikes spears pole arms uh mounted knights and then obviously like whatever foot troops or archers you guys decide uh, you want to throw in there as well. So if you have a specific unit in mind that you would love to see brought to life within the uh, the Game of Thrones world, then drop it in the comment section below and I will try my absolute hardest to get it set up, okay? Next episode. I'm so excited. I, I just realized this. I had no idea that this was here. That's uh, That's pretty cool. I'm actually really excited for this. Anyways, lads, we continue on our task, even though we're not quite uh, working for the uh, the veil at the, the current moment. We will most definitely continue to do this job for the Lady Liza. The headman tells you that most of the villagers can't afford the rest of the tax. They offer crops and other goods as payment in kind. You know what? I accept. Now, helping out the uh, the small folk is also going to increase our relations, which will in turn increase our uh, our charm skill, which is exactly what we need. Aha! Suddenly, a brawl starts between your troops and some of the village youth. Uh, order your troops to not to try not to hurt the youth and try to separate the two sides. Nine of my men were wounded by fighting the uh, the villagers. That's crazy. Alright, last village. And then our task is complete. Oh, look, the Lady Liza Aaron herself. Perfect. The headman tells you that some of the households have suffered particularly hard this year from crop failures and bandit dep depredations. He asks you to forgive their back payments entirely. He hints that they are so desperate that they might resist by force. Yeah, agree to exempt the poor households. That's fine. Yeah, increased by two. Perfect. See, things are working out quite well for us and the small folk. This is our task as we strive to become servants of the realm. Servants of the people and the small folk. Hey look, the Lady Lysa is here in fact. Oh, I need to be in the same location. Can I go to the keep? Nah, I, I can literally just hand over the revenue here. That's fine. Yeah, to the steward. Perfect. Lovely. I paid 1200 I don't I don't get anything in return for that, do I? That's that's awful. Oh well. Nice. We have plus one, so we can <laughs> we can get fifty troops now. Alright, let us see what there is to trade. It doesn't look like they have much, if I'm being honest. 
kind of armor do you guys have? An Aaron Archer helmet. That's not bad. It's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, it's not really my style, but I wonder if I can't give it to, like, Maya Stone. Nah, because her, her hair kind of clips through that. What if we gave it to this guy? He looks a little bit better with that on. That's fine. Then we can give Maya the, the yeah, the leather hood. Perfect. Ooh, plate pauldrons. Ooh. Yeah, because we've got, we've got money now, lads. So maybe... Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, it kind of clips through the armor currently. Royce female armor. Interesting. Padded van brace. Veil braces. Plate gloves. Veil braces with gloves. Aw, oh, nice. Dude, no way. That's crazy. This looks good. We look good. I don't want to give everybody like the, the super high tier stuff, but I, I might have to just fork out the money for it. Like, I don't really give a shit at this point. We might as well, since we got the money. Yeah, see, 14,000 out of 28,000. We're just going to be quite broke for for a good a good moment. Now, the question is, do I want these ones or do I want these ones? No, I want the ones with the gloves. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, Yeah, and then we can drop off everything else. I will keep this hood just because I like the way the hood looks. Uh, I am kind of upset about the armor clipping, but... Honestly, I think it looks good. We're going to pay 13000 in total. Nice. We have 14000 still. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Now, there is a tournament here in the Eerie, but uh, we do have a mercenary contracts now. So, I'm thinking, who are we? F We're not at war with anybody. So, why do I need to be a mercenary of the Reach? Honestly, I don't really care. Um, perhaps we can just go out and fight some more bandits. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. If we find bandits, we'll fight them. It's honestly not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm going to test my luck and continue to go shopping. See if we can't find any more, uh, veil armor pieces. Uh, oh, we can take on these caravan ambush jobs too. Perfect, dude. Ooh, some house errand boots that are pretty cheap. Uh, they're not the plate boots, but I like how the black matches the gloves. So we're going to take those, uh, and I think we can give these uh, to, yeah. Yeah, her legs disappeared, but she is our mounted troop, so she's going to need them. We'll give these away as well. Nice. Not bad. Moving on. There's very few places for us to check here. Yeah, Hearts Home, Gold, uh, Gold Town... Wiccan Dun and Sister Tun. Uh, let's head to Gold Town first, and then if there's nothing super interesting there, we can head north to Sister Tun. But we'll check uh, Gold Town and Wiccan Dun first. Oh, there's pirates nearby. Needs help with brigands. Sure, we're gonna take care of these uh, these bandits for ya. Or not? Aha! Some veil armor for seven thousand. Ah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, look at the man. He looks so good. He's not yet a man grown. He's still kind of young. Once he turns 21, then he'll uh, he'll have his his adult face. Because look at him. He's still he's still a child underneath. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'll gladly take it. Then we can uh, we can pass this off to our next companion. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very cool. Uh, I'm kind of upset that the uh, the metal doesn't really match, but. At the same time, I don't really give a shit. Not bad. All right, so let's take on these pirates here, lads. Hold on, I need to I need to like zoom in. Let's get out of their way. Maybe they'll uh All right. Got them pushed away from the sea. Yeah, caught their asses. Oh, look at the armor, dude. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to we're going to fight these reavers. Very nice. Oh, look at the green. I forget we're uh <laughs> we're a mercenary of the the reach. That's funny. We attack, lads. Alrighty, lads. Here they come. This is our moment. Rider, follow me! With me, my riders. Come on. Yeah, look at me leading my knights. My knights of the Vale. Come on, boys. Take their asses down.
Oh, he turned around on me. All right, we'll take another pass at them. Come on. Swing wide, lads. Swing wide. Hiya. And hiya. Couch lance. Oh, very nice. Got one, lads. All right, have at them, boys. Infantry, kill them all! Archers, take them down. Nice. Oh, damn. I hit somebody. Bonk. Come on, you bastards. Very nice. Very nice. We're getting some shit done here, lads. Hi ya! Ah, oh, damn. I just barely missed him. Ooh, good shot, lads. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, we lost four men. Two pages, a Riverlands recruit, and a Northern soldier. But uh, that was a very successful fight. Yeah, very nice. Let's take these prisoners with us. Oh, 26 level ups. Oh, we have our first four Knights of the Veil. Oh, that is amazing. A Veil Footman, Veil Soldier, Veil Rider. Let's get that guy going. Eight Riverlander recruits. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two House Tully Footmen. Perfect. Now, let me see these. Uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, these Knights of the Veil Tier 6 troops. Yo, come on. The first four of them. That's amazing. Ah, that's perfect. On oh, look at the armor, lads. There's a crude helmet and a legendary crude helmet. 44. Ah, oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, dude, this was this was perfect. This was a good. This was a good one. All right, so he's he's already got a helmet on, so we'll give this one to uh, the Lady Maya. Yeah, that's perfect. Not bad. And see, look at that. One thing I love about being a mercenary is that it doesn't matter who you're really fighting for or where you're fighting at. As long as, like, if you're taking out bandits wherever you are, you're going to get the influence from the, uh, from the contract regardless. So I absolutely love that. How lovely. All right, so we need to go about and hunt down two more parties of men, which shouldn't be too bad. I'm literally still waiting around for any kind of bandit to show up. There's nobody here. <laughs> like, what the hell? Aha, here we go. Some broken men. Come on, take their asses down, lads. Perfect. Cavalry after me! Yeah, follow me, lads. Look at the boy. I'm so happy with how he looks. Yeah, he looks pretty good, lads. We're not gonna get a whole lot of like really good armor from this uh, from this fight, especially against these broken men. But but honestly, I don't think it matters. Yeah, we'll have the uh, look at the Knights of the Veil vale on Maya Stone. She looks good too. Yeah, the Knights of the Veil. Vale. These guys, <laughs> these mad lads, look so good. I love the big heavy pauldrons on our lad. He looks great. Yeah. Alright lads, with me. Horsemen! Attack! Come on! Oh nice! I lanced somebody. Oh, hello? I missed horrendously. Yeah, watch out for their pikes, lads. Oh my. Bonk. Chop. Very nice. I have him, I have him. Yeah, very nice. Ooh. Yeah, good try, lad. Good try. 
Man, these horsemen are so menacing. This is crazy. Ooh, good fight. Oh my god. That's a boys. Ah, oh, our horsemen are so devastating. Hell yeah, lads. Very well fought, lads. All right, we'll take these prisoners. Yeah, we're going to get two more Knights of the Veil. Oh, that is perfect, dude. We've got six of the Mad Lads now, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, very nice. And just, you know, bare minimum for loot. But, not bad. Nice. We're only making 320 off of our uh, mercenary contract for now. But, that is quite alright. We just need one more uh, bandit party. And then this mission is complete. And we will end today's episode. Aha! More pirates. Perfect. Let's have at the bastards. Come on. Yeah, very nice. We're going to take him out with uh, Isila Royce. Yeah, we send the troops. Nice. Oh, they killed my first man. Uh, my first man arms trader. That's so sad. He's been with us for quite some time now. Quite sad to see him go. Very nice. And just like that. Our quest is complete. All right, there is another party of pirates. I have recently just ended my uh, mercenary contract with the Reach, and hopefully we'll try again with uh, Lady Liza Aaron of the Vale. I thank you for what you did for me. You kept your word. Not everyone is so dependable these days. No, of course not, my lady. Uh, can we try again? Oh, 290, perfect. Yes, well, we do hire mercenaries, and some of them, I'll admit, are men of honor. Very nice. Uh, all right, I accept. You can count on me, my lady. As of now, your enemies are my enemies, and your honor is my honor. Very nice. On behalf of the Vale, I welcome you. Lovely. Uh, all right, let us check and see who we are at war with. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at war with anybody, apparently. I <laughs> I don't I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah, support to declare war on just about anybody is zero. But yeah, so now we are finally uh, a a loyal mercenary of the Vale of Erin. And to finish off today's episode, we're gonna kill some <laughs> some pirates, lads. Yeah, perfect. We attack. Alrighty, boys. Horse, follow me! On me, lads. Alright, come up this way. We're gonna get around them. Hiya! Oh, damn, right into a shield. There we go. Nice. Yeah, how about the bastards, lads? Come on. Yeah, death to the pirates, lads. Oh, beautiful. I love this new lance, dude. This is perfect. Infantry! Charge! Oh, we've already lost a man. No, that's so sad. Alright, come here, you bastards. Chop! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. God, we're too good. Take them down, Knights of the Vale. For the justice of Lady Aaron, and for John Aaron, your liege lord. Victory shall be ours, lads. Who's left? Oh, oh, they're on the run. Don't let them flee. We shall deliver the uh, the justice of House Aaron upon these lads. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's one man. Hold on. Where is he?
Oh, they got him. Good job, lads. Yeah, very nice. They killed two of our men, two Veil vale recruits. Ah, oh, damn. But that is quite all right. Yeah, we'll take these lads. Ten level ups. Another Knight of the Veil. Vale, another Veil vale Knight. Two Knight Squires. Two Riverland Soldiers. A Tully Soldier. Oof. Yeah, two more Veil vale Riders. Let's get another uh, Aaron Soldier. That's fine by me. We're going to use three horses for upgrades. I am okay with that. Oh, a lordly crude helmet. Interesting. Yeah, here you go, my friend. There we go. And now we all have matching helmets. Look at us, the squad. I love that. Very nicely done. Fine crude armor. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ooh, not bad. Okay. It's not quite as cleaned up as the uh, the Aaron or the Veil vale armor is. Uh, but its stats are better, so we're gonna we're gonna take the uh, the better armor here. Yeah, we'll give this mad lad yeah some proper armor. Hell yeah, dude, you look good, son. You look good. All right, not bad. So we have sixteen thousand dinars, making one hundred and eighty-eight from our mercenary contract with the veil. Vale. That is absolutely perfect. And there we have it, lads, the end of another successful episode. We have, ah, we've done so much this episode. I'm quite proud of the progress we've made. Like, just look at our mad lad as compared to how he started. And man, that, that stone-faced banner of House Stone is just, ah, it's just absolutely strong. So, within the comments section below for today's episode, let me know if you think we should add in our own custom unit tree for uh, our House Stone Veil vale Knights. Since we found the, uh, the compatibility settings for uh, My Little Warband, we now have that option and I want to include you guys in the, uh, in the decision making process when it comes to things like that. So, if you would like to see our own custom units brought to life here in the, uh, the lands of Westeros, let me know in the comment section below. And one thing I forgot to mention to you guys about uh, our background lore, we don't have a house motto. Like, you know, winter is coming, or uh, ours is the fury, hear me roar, so on and so forth. We don't have one. So if you would like to uh, drop your best suggestions for a house motto as well, my suggestion was something along the lines of like, defiant against the storm or something like that because we are house stone we stand like a, a stony mountain or a stony castle just standing strong and defiant against the coming storm but until next time lads always remember honor and service glory and sacrifice and i your lord commander will see you in the next episode goodbye